In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to create a wiki within your Moodle course, uh, and then also discuss how to facilitate the wiki once it's created. Um, the wiki option within Moodle provides uh, multiple options as far as how you would like to use it. Um, the idea behind a wiki is that it is an open, collaborative environment. Uh, it's a place where you can bring student work together and allow for peer-to-peer -peer review and peer-to-peer -peer discussion um, on that work so that uh, it becomes less threaded the way a forum is, uh, the way those you have the separate threads to kind of pay attention to. Um, typically a wiki page or the pages within a wiki allow for um, collaborative work collectively where everyone's um, making comments as it suggestions to a particular page. Um, now there are various options so this is going to be the first um, in the video series on wikis within Moodle. So uh, what we're going to look at here in this one is how to set the wiki up. Okay, And then the subsequent videos will get more into um, the nuances within the wiki as far as adding content to pages, um, how to utilize the pages, and whatnot. So like with everything in Moodle, one of the first things you're going to need to do is to make sure you've turned editing on. Okay. Now once we have editing on, we're going to come down and we're going to add an activity. All right. So you want to make sure you pick the week um, that you want to add the activity to or the wiki to. And you'll need to do this for each week that you have the wiki. So under add activity, we'll drop that menu down. Uh, here, let me scooch it down so you can see it more. And you'll see at the bottom down there is, is the wiki option. Go ahead and click on that. So what becomes important in here is the name. Okay, The name isn't something that you can then go back and edit later. So you want to make sure that the name you put in there uh, is, the, is the correct name right away. Um, and I would always encourage that it represents or mirrors what you have possibly in the syllabus. Okay, or how, uh, you know, um, however you communicate to, to your students what the name is going to be. Um, now here in the summary section, this is uh, where you want to type in the instruction, if you will, for the wiki. Okay, what do your students need to know in terms of what the wiki is and how you want them to facilitate the wiki as far as how do you want them to contribute to the wiki, which is something we'll talk about a little bit more as we work through this. Okay. Um, right, and you notice those both have the red asterisk, so those are both required bits of information. All right, and you can be creative up here. You have the full WYSIWYG, so you can put pictures in, you can change the font color. Um, that's all up to you. Okay. Um, you could potentially even embed a video here. Students could watch the video uh, and then comment within the wiki to it. Um, th there's quite a bit you can do. Okay, so let's scroll down and just under the summary box, this is important, this, this area right here for type. Okay, what I'm going to encourage you to do is to open the question um, by clicking on the yellow circle uh, around the question mark. And this is going to bring up a help screen. All right, and this is important for us to look at. Okay, because this is really going to go to the heart of what you want to do with the wiki. Essentially, there are nine types of wikis. Okay, there's a the teacher, there's the groups, there's the student, and then it's kind of like reading uh, a matrix or a grid. Then you have your no groups, your separate groups, and visible groups. Now, these items here, no groups, separate, and visible groups, those are the similar, um, those are the exact same as, as the group function within Moodle. So if you've never viewed the group tutorial within Moodle, or um, I'm sorry, um, the group video, or, or haven't reviewed groups within the print tutorial, I would encourage you to do that um, so you get a better idea of what those are. But the way it would work is that, let's say for instance, for type you set it the teacher, and then for groups, we set no groups. So this will give you one wiki, okay, essentially one page, which only the teacher can edit. Students will be able to see it, but they cannot contribute to it. Let's say you did groups as the type, and then 
you had no groups. Well, there is only one wiki, okay, which means there's only one page, and the teacher and all the students can view and edit this wiki. Okay, and then if we were to come down here and do student as the type and no groups, every student has their own wiki, which means that within the wiki, each student will have their own page. And you'll know that because there will be a drop down menu in the upper right hand corner, and you would drop it down and see the student's name and click on their name and be able to go to that page. So if you ch chose student for this setting, and then we set groups to no groups, every student has their own wiki, which only they and the teacher can view and edit. Other students will be able to read it, but they couldn't contribute to it. Okay, And you keep following that across. Right? So this is the type. Um, so this side here is always the type, and this side here is always the group setting within Moodle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, the one I'm going to illustrate here, um, because I think these, the teacher and groups one is a little uh, easier to see, um, and I'm going to do the student, okay, and I'm going to pick student and separate groups, and that the students, so every student has their own wiki, which only they and their teacher can edit. Students can view the wikis of other students, okay, and if that's the setting we're going to pick here. So this is really something to think about how you want to match it up and work with your students as far as the information I and mean, how you want them to contribute. I would imagine the most common ones will be um, the student and separate groups to no groups or um, the groups and no groups um, just because that allows everyone to see each other's work uh, and then um, even potentially uh, comment or edit. Now keep in mind that instructors always have the ability to edit. Um, you're always going to have access and ability to edit students' work, okay? I mean, or students' wikis. So no matter what the setting is, you're always going to have that. So even if the student doesn't, the instructor will. Okay? So I'm going to close that out. So for type, I'm going to do student, okay? Now print wiki name on every page. That's completely up to you, <laughs> okay? Uh, I'm just going to leave that as yes. Now with HTML mode, we want to leave this. We want to leave this as HTML only. Okay, so that's going to default. So you can leave those. Allow binary files. That is up to you. If you allow binary files, okay, what you're doing is students are able to attach files or images. Okay, so if you want students to do that, where they upload a file or image to this, you want to make sure you choose yes. Okay. You always want to disable camel casing. If you don't know what camel casing is, um, don't worry about it. Um, but if you do know what it is, you'll understand that um, you could potentially use it. That's up to you. It's a way to create links um, within pages. Um, there's another way, though, I'm going to show you how to do that. So an easy answer is just go ahead and disable camel casing. Now, the student admin option, this is giving students the ability uh, administrative controls. So you're going to give students controls that you, the teacher, have or you, the instructor, have. Um, it's only if you check the boxes. So right now, when it's unchecked, it means the students do not have those options. But let's say I check allow remove pages. That means students can remove a page. They can delete and get rid of a page. Okay. Um, I would typically suggest to leave these and, and not give students those permissions. Uh, but that would be up to you. Now if we scroll down, okay, here you have page name. And again, you don't have to fill this in. If you fill this in, the first page that's created will carry this name. If you leave it blank, um, the first page will adopt the name of the wiki. Okay, um, and here with the initial page, I wouldn't worry about this. Um, I wouldn't worry about this um, unless you want to upload a particular file to the initial page from the beginning, which you can always do once you get in there. Uh, so that, that's up to you. And then we have the usual settings. But keep in mind here, if I scroll back up, the type I've cho chosen is a student. So this is a student type wiki. Okay. And if I scroll back down here to the group mode under the common module settings, and I click on the little question mark, all right, you're going to get an explanation of, of the group mode a little bit. Okay, so if you don't have access to the video or the print tutorial, you can you can see it here. Okay, um, 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, separate groups so that they have their own pages and they're able to see others. Okay, so I'm going to drop that menu down, choose separate groups. You want to make sure the wiki is visible and the rest of this you don't have to worry about. Uh, so now I'm going to hit save and return to course. And when the screen refreshes, okay, you'll be able to scroll down in your course. And there's the wiki icon. There's the name of your wiki. You can see it's a link. You're able to click on it and drop you in. Okay, and here because I have editing on, you see I have my functions. And notice behind here, all right, if you hold your cursor over it, you can see because I set it again, I put group mode on it, and I set it to separate groups. We have this icon here with the one person. If I were to click on this, both the little people would show up as being highlighted, um, or you'd see them in like their brown shirts, if you will. That would be um, group mode. Okay, and then if I were to click on it again, they would disappear, and that would be no groups, or they would go um, this gray invisible, and there would be no groups. So whenever you see these icons here, this is another way to view the group setting. Now the hard part is going to be to remember to distinguish the type, which is the student, teacher, or group, um, versus then the group mode. Okay, so the type and the group mode are separate in here. All right. Uh, but that is how you do the settings to create um, the wiki. And the next um, set of video tutorials on wiki will deal with how to actually function within it.